Hey, how you doing? This is the infamous uh, Diet Coke Mentos experiment, but we're going to do a little quantitative here. First of all, I'm going to get my go ahead and get my clock started here, hopefully. Uh, second, if you notice, I have three Diet Cokes all at different temperatures. This one is at four degrees Celsius. This one is at seven degrees Celsius. This one is at 24 degrees Celsius. And uh, we also have the clock going. So uh, now there are markings here. Each marking is worth 50 milliliters. Uh, for instance, this right here is at 100, then 200, um, 300, 400, and so on. That's the milliliters. And there's a clock going, so you can play this back and get the time. So I'm going to say 3, 2, 1, and let her rip. 3, 2, 1. So this is the first experiment. And it got up to about 350. And it slowly goes back down. Okay. So we'll let that go for a bit. Then we'll do the next one, which is at about 7 degrees Celsius. Okay. By the way, this was developed by Tom Kunzelman. Uh, if you can go to Chemin Exchange site, he's a big contributor there. He's also known as Tommy Technetium Online. Uh, councilman, I believe, starts with a K, a brilliant demonstrator and chemistry teacher, um, and all around nice guy. So this is his idea, not mine, but kind of kind of neat how we can quantify the diet mentoscope, mentos diet coke experiment. Okay, so now let's go on to the next one, and with the clock still going, we're gonna put this on. This is about seven degrees Celsius. My little shoot in here. Three, two, one, go. Okay. So this one went up to about 400 milliliters. You know, we have our clock going, so we can also do a you know, time. And now we're going to go do the one on room temperature. So while we're doing this, we have three different temperatures. Uh, three different conditions. Uh, we have a quantity now. We have a time. Um, what do you think you could graph? What relationships might be occurring? And how could we prove it to somebody with quantitative information? That's the question. Last but not least, room temperature. Let's see what happens. This one. Here we go. So, about 24 degrees Celsius, room temperature. On your mark, get set, go. Whew. I think it topped off at about 600 milliliters. Interesting and fascinating, and some really cool signs. So, there you have Mentos Diet Coke experiments. Thank you very much. Think about what you could graph. What is the independent, the dependent variable? Um, could you graph one of these? Would you graph all three of these? What's the relationship, if any? And what variables would be worth looking at? And I'm sure there's a lot more questions.